everybody. I'm going to recreate my pickled egg video. That pickled egg video that I made four or five years ago was the very first cooking video I ever did. So I wanted to remake it. Here in my pan right here, I've got approximately three dozen boiled eggs. Now most everybody knows how to boil an egg. You know, water, put your egg in boiling water. But I learned a few things since my last time. People's giving me suggestions on how to how much how to make it easier to peel an egg. Don't use fresh eggs. I'm not saying use old eggs. I, I had these eggs in my refrigerator for two weeks. Plus, when you boil your eggs, put tons of salt on them. And I mean tons. I used a whole handful of salt in there. So I've boiled them. I've taken them off the stove. And I've peeled them, and here they are right here. Also for this recipe, you will need, I use Del Monte pickled beets. Now some people just use canned beets, but I like Del Monte beets. Some people put sugar in their pickled eggs. I do not. I find, uh, excuse me, I find that these pickled beets are the best. For me and James, that's, I mean, some people make their pickled eggs with onions, some make them with garlic. You can make your eggs any way you want to. This is just how we make them, and this is how we like them. All right, you will also need vinegar. And you will also need a big jar. This right here is a big old pickle jar, and that's what I used. Now, this is not canning. This is just making pickled eggs. It is totally different from the process of canning. I will not be putting the lid on there and sealing it. Once I get my eggs done and they've cooled off, I will put them in the refrigerator. Okay, now here's what you do. Alrighty. <clears throat> and this is all I do. I take these pickled beets. And I pour them over my eggs. I've peeled these eggs and washed the pot that I boiled them in. And put the eggs back in the pot, the peeled eggs. Now, you know, before I started making my own pickled eggs, I hated beets. I did not like beets. Now on this one, I'm going to leave the beets out because there's quite a few beets there. But yeah, I have found that I really enjoy eating the beets out of these pickled eggs. They're really good. I take those beets and then I'll probably put a half a bottle of this in of the of the vinegar in there, and what I will do now that not, not everybody does this. Some people just boil their eggs, put them in the jars, and then pour uh, pour excuse me pour beet juice over them. I don't do that because James, when I make pickled eggs, he wants them right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in this pot. And I am going to warm this beet juice up with eggs in there. And when I do that, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Like I said before, you don't have to do this step. If you just want to boil your eggs, then open your cans, your jars of beets. And, you know, put beets, eggs, beets, eggs, beets, eggs. You do it whatever way you do it. The only reason why I'm doing it this way... Is because James seems to think they pick the eggs pickle faster. Now, when he comes home tonight, he will want pickled eggs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base of pickled beets in the bottom of this. Then I'm going to take a couple of eggs. Look how pretty they're already looking. And of course, I get pickled uh, beet juice everywhere. I usually have a big old mess, you know. So what I do is really I just put pickled egg, I just put eggs and pickled beet juice and beets in my jars, and I fill it up pretty good. 
And I don't think all these eggs will fit in this one jar. So I've got another jar here. And what I'll do is, after I fill up these jars, I will pour this beet juice all the way all over these eggs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch jars right here and see if I've got you in the shot. Yes I do. So I put my beets in there. And like I said it's a messy process and what is for me I make a mess every time I cook. But that's basically what I'm doing. I did not boil these eggs again with the beets. I just got the beet juice hot with eggs in there so when I get done I'll be when I get finished filling these jars up I'll come back and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on filling up these jars and then I'm going to pour the juice that I've got left over the eggs and beets I'll be right back all right, everybody, there's my pickled eggs, and what I did was I didn't have enough pickled beet juice to pour over all both those jars of eggs, so what I did was I topped them off with white vinegar. Now, what I will do is I'll set these on my counter, and I'll, I have lids for these jars. I busted up an egg inside of one of them jars. But anyway, I've got lids for them, and I'll set them on my counter until they're cool, and then I will put them in the refrigerator. In just two, three days, they'll be ready to eat. I hope you all enjoy this recipe. You really can make it any way you want to. I would say, though, that for every 18 eggs, you need two jars of pickled beets and some vinegar. I could have used, I had about 36 eggs. I could have used five jars of pickled beets. Alright everybody, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Melissa, pickling some eggs up in the holler. Bye everybody.